Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Big Pharma. My name is Negative Roots and let's get cracking. Today we're going to cover advanced topics out of the tutorial. Uh, we need to research one upgrade apparently. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so that's the company tab. Yeah, most of these things are... Yep, okay, that's fine. I'm just reading very quickly. Upgrading. We can research upgrades. Upgrading research. Da 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 da. So, it seems, seems easy enough, really. Here, 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 and here. Now, that was very, very easy, and I'm not even. Wow. <laughs> I might as well publish the video <laughs> for completion's sake. This, this is very important when you uh, want to make. When you want to make more money. Very, very important. Let's have a quick look over the production line and see what's happening. Ah, oh, using my brain. Treats angina. And that's painkiller. Oh, nice. So let's uh, have a look at the analyzer because the analyzer is very important to everything. I really like it. And basically, what you do is you use it to research different things. So you can see how our production is suddenly very, very healthy. So we'll upgrade that. Let's see if we can get some of these things researched. Because I don't think we have competitors. We don't. Excellent. So you can see here. Oh, gee, it is. We've got some hardcore cures ah, down here. Right. So we have uh, some pretty nice anti seizure stuff. Can't get rid of that, though. Bugger. Okay. I see what's happening. You can see that it's doing the research for us and finding out where the max strength of everything is, which is excellent. And this was the reduces anxiety cure that we we're working on. If we wanted to, getting rid of that cures dizziness, uh, causes dizziness would have been a great move. So that has been researched, and now all we need to do is research the next thing. So that tells us the max strength of stuff. So we'll import that one next. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to speed this up. Okay, grab another analyzer. No free ports there. We'll add that here. Now it takes a little bit of cost to, to do this because obviously you're doing the seven process time plus what it costs you to research the drug. Uh, moving quickly, we've got two research points. Uh, we'll grab the autoclave, that's very important, and also the cryogenic condenser. The more expensive the machine, the greater the discount. As you can see, we're starting to really get some uh, research going now. And the analyzer can give you such a head start. Yeah, brilliant. I'm gonna pull that one. Not that it is uh, very important, but uh, you know, whatever. We'll run with it. We'll import that. Okay, moving back to those ingredients tab. Again, we can look to upgrade. Now, here is a uh, view of the price of each thing. So, the net demand is a function of your saturation. So it increases net demand when it's above 100%. So we're okay at the moment. So generally, we want to sync your upgrades. Whoops. Well, that's that's been researched. So hello. That doesn't want to click. Click, damn it. Fine. Go away. Stop. And stop. As I was saying about ingredients, you want to put it against the, the most expensive ones. So here is one, here is another. Yep, that's okay. And again, with upgrade points, you want to spend them wherever you're using them. So if you have lots of ionizers, drop them into ionizers. Uh, try and stick to the more expensive ones. Pill printers are always a good one to go with because these are, well, generally in a factory, you're going to have a million of them. So, well, there's one. There's two, there's three and four, uh, there's five, there's six. <laughs> you see what I mean? Uh, there's plenty of them. 
There's always plenty of them. Let's have a quick look. Hire another dude. Ingredients. Hire another dude. Because this can really improve, increase that profit margin. So coming over here to the profit margin tab, and I'm just kind of doing an advanced topics run through right now. You can see that all of these are pretty rubbish. Like they are freaking rubbish. <laughs> but when you're the only uh, only game in town, you know, happy days. These two here are pretty strong. So looking looking at a company, right? The important things are the current value and the current profit. Well, the current profit probably is the only thing that's important. Your cure rating, not so much, and I'll tell you why. Over here in the cures tab, for example, okay, we're punching out 15 of these. We could actually do another, wow, that's an interesting artifact. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I think I may have broken the game. We'll just wait patiently. Anyway, as I was saying, let's see how we've got 15 currently being uh, being shipped out, and the saturation is 26. That means that we could actually have a total of 60 being shipped out and getting a saturation of 100. Now, if we own 100% of the market, generally the AI won't get into it. Even if they do, they realize it's not profitable and jump straight out again. So that is how you read this page, and I don't think that this is coming back. Nope, I've just got the funny uh, thingy. My, that, uh, that pretty much covers the advanced topics in the game. I don't really think there's anything too much. Basically, discount your ingredients that get really expensive. Uh, improve the processes that you use a lot of. Uh, on your research tab. Keep an eye on your profit value. Oh, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. That, yeah, we have some graphical errors. <laughs> uh, I am playing on the beta, so remember this. This is uh, obviously requires some bug squashing. But thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you in the next one.